Uh, in this example, we're going to do a multi-section field. Um, I'll just open the job up. It's um, it's supplied if you do the easy grade download um, under documents, easy grade two. Where are we? And it's grading two. Now, if you look at this job, um, you'll see there's a drain along there. So the field's basically split in two bits. There is a drain there, but the water's basically running in that direction there. So, so we're going to make it in one section. Section one will be that area, and section two will be that area, and then we can grade the water different ways. Um, so what? we need to do um, from the fields menu you go insert field edge and you can just draw in some lines and just close it once it's closed hit the enter key Also, we do the section two. Now we can start on an existing node, and then back to there. Again, hit the enter key. Now to tell the software that it's actually a section, what we can do, we select the appropriate links. When they're selected, they go green. Then right click and you'll see a menu item says add section, click on that. Okay, so it's been added in. Now we also create this new section. So select those links. Right click and go add section. Now if we look in here, we've actually got three sections. Now we had a, a section already existing. So what we want to do, we want to delete the existing section one. So select that, click delete. Are you sure? Yes. Now when we change sections, so if you that section will be highlighted in yellow. If you want to look at section two, that one's highlighted in yellow. Now one other thing to be aware of, um, between sections we can smooth across the section or we can abruptly stop here. We want to smooth the whole job, so we'll select that link between those two sections. From the fields menu, where it says toggle common links, just click on that and hit the escape key to unselect it. That should be shown as an orange color. Okay, now if we go to section one, we want the um, water to flow up that field. And so for that axis, we want to set that to about 100 degrees. Okay, and for and, and for defining the the slopes, we're only going to worry about the y direction. So you want to define a minimum and a maximum y, and the minimum y is uh, we'll say minus five percent, which is fairly st steep, but we're only really worried about the minimum slope. Minus 0.5. Obviously, you can change those if you're not happy with it. Um, so that's done for section one. Now, change to section two. Again, it's stone in yellow. Here, we want to grade the water that way. So the bearing here is 10 degrees. And we're going to constrain. In the x direction, just minus one percent. Y direction of one percent. And in the y direction, what a minimum value minus four percent, and maximum of minus one percent. All right, so we can. 
we'll just go section one up now we go grading and grading go OK and it runs through its does its thing um, if we go to actual contour surface parameters and look at surface 2 which is the design contour um, that's basically the design we go back through there and put some grading on there if you need to so go back to surface 1 grading grading and we'll do some post smoothing go OK runs through the same process but this time it puts um, it just takes a little while the smoothing process at the end it's doing the moving least squares okay we'll have a look at that so contour, surface parameters, surface 2. We form the contours, contour, calculate contours. And you'll see there's more of a smooth contoured surface created. Um, as, as in the previous examples, you can um, make up cut fills, etc. So I'll leave that to you.